What up, everybody? At the end of Power Book 2 Ghost, there was a teaser clip of Tariq getting a phone call that I'll get to in a minute. But during this scene, it flashed hashtag power never ends on the screen. And this is not the first time we've seen this hashtag used. A few months ago, when it was announced that Season 3 would be the final chapter of Force, Joseph Sikor, who plays Tommy, and 50 Cent both used the hashtag power never ends. It was also said at this time that Tommy's journey was far from over, but his time in Chicago was coming to an end. What we know for sure is next for the Power Universe in the immediate future is the fourth season of Raising Canaan coming in the winter of 2025. Sometime after the fourth season of Raising Canaan will come the third and final season of Power Book 4 Force. Then likely at the end of 2025 after the fourth season of BMF airs will be the fifth and final season of Raising Canaan. Origins the next book that has already been announced will be a sequel of Raising Canaan as young Ghost and Tommy and their families will be introduced into the storyline and Canaan will be a little older by that time and teaching them the game. If there's no new spinoffs announced in the next couple days after they give everyone a chance to watch the finale, I don't think they'll announce anything new until after the finale of Power Book Force. I also think that there's a chance that Season 4 wasn't actually the last season of Power Book 2, but just the end of that chapter with the death of Monet and the end of the Dehadas as we know it, and Tariq rising to the top of the game. Keep in mind that not too long ago, The Shy was renewed for Season 7, but before Season 6 started, they said that Season 6 was going to be the last. That's because things will be different on that show moving forward after the death of Duda. So stars might have stolen a page out of Showtime's marketing strategy. Either though I think it's more likely there will just be new books created to start the new chapter. One thing we know for sure is that there is definitely 100% multiple spinoffs in the works at stars. And I'm not guessing about this either. This is a fact that has been reported. Stars president of programming Catherine Busby said this about the Power franchise in a recent interview with TheRap.com. I can't tell you more than you've heard in terms of specifics, but I can tell you that when we say Power Book, we mean there are chapters. So some are going to close, but others are going to open, and it's a beautiful thing. We have conversation about the Powerverse and all of the tangents that we can do and that we can move to. It's really exciting because it's far from over. I can tell you that we love the potential of that franchise and we love that it's going to keep continuing. That doesn't mean that it's not hard to say goodbye to the ones that are ending, but we also have excitement of what's coming. And Origins is just the one that we've announced so far. So from that statement, we know there is definitely multiple spinoffs in the works at Stars right now that is just being kept under wraps. It was also announced around the same time as it announced that Season 4 would be the last of Book 2 that four showrunner Gary Lennon received a multi-year deal with stars to develop and expand the Power Universe. This lines up with what 50 posted on IG when it was announced that Season 3 would be the last of Force. The caption said that power was expanding. And it was also said by the star CEO in an interview that the price of a show increases from season 3 to 4, and they have to manage their shows like a salary cap from a sports team. He said at that point, it's more cost effective to take a character and create a spinoff because they can then produce the spinoff for half the price that they'd spend continuing producing a show past seasons 4 or 5. So I said all that to guarantee everybody that Power isn't ending and Origins isn't the only new Power spinoff in the works. It's not going to go back to when there was only one power show. If Stars has 10 series that they aired, they definitely want power to be at least 3 of those series. In the last 3 minutes of the episode, the biggest clue for the next chapter might have been right in front of our faces. The outro song played was a song called Look Ahead by Future. Personally, one of my favorite songs, one of my main go-tos on my exercise playlist called Gas. When you look extra charged up for my last couple sprints, I could put on Look Ahead and hear, Was it cold nights that made me cold? 
Do the stress increase my hunger? Tell a lie, then make a promise? In the intro of this song, Future says, Every angle, the cash coming. This also representing Tariq as the new ghost and how his operation is like a machine now. He has money coming in from every angle. The Ivies, the streets, clean, dirty, the NYPD in his pocket. And at the end of the first verse of this song, Future says, I'm at the top where I belong. And this is how Power Book 2 ends with Tariq St. Patrick at the top of the food chain. The beginning of Season 4, when Tariq met Carter for the first time, Carter told Tariq he was going to put him where he belongs. And just like Future said, he's at the top where he belongs. Tariq also feels like he belongs at the top of the game. Like it's his birthright. Like his father paved the way for him to have this position. And like he said at Ghost Funeral, to become the manifestation of what his father could never be. Future also mentions Michael Corleone in this song. Not only has Tariq become the new ghost, but he has also become this generation's version of Michael Corleone. Ghost is like Vito the father, and Tariq is like Michael. Each son took what their father did to another level. Another statement Future said in the song was, Bloodline is a lion. Chinadu saying that Tariq would be like a ghost is basically the equivalent to the end of Godfather 1 when they all kiss Michael's ring and making him the new Godfather. And in my personal opinion, if Power Book 2 is the end of the St. Patrick's story and Tariq isn't in the new spinoffs, the show still had the perfect ending with Tariq winning and ending up at the top of the game. Much better than a show like Snowfall where Franklin ended up becoming a drunk or even at the end of Power where a Ghost got shot at the end and is soon to be dead and we have to look for clues to hold on to hope that Ghost might be alive. If we never hear from Tariq St. Patrick again, we at least know that he won and got to the very top of the food chain. And he's the ghost in the machine. And even after the next chapter is over with, we can still have realistic hope that Tariq is still coming back. We could potentially even see things play out like the Godfather series. Godfather Part 1 and Part 2 aired within a couple years from each other. But the third and final chapter didn't air until Michael was much older 16 years later. Either though I don't think that's what happens with Tariq's story. The song Look Ahead playing at the end was definitely a clue that Tariq being the ghost in the machine will be the next chapter in Tariq's story. And I don't think we'll have to wait 16 years for Tariq's third chapter like we did for Michael's. I don't think we'll have to wait past 2026 for the new chapter to begin. In the song Look Ahead, Frank Lucas was also mentioned. Just like Kane told Effie, that his dream was to be like Bumpy Johnson, Frank Lucas, and Nicky Barnes. It was Tariq who got that position in the end. And some people might say that that's just the outro song for the show, but these outro songs definitely shouldn't be overlooked because a lot of the time they have clues in them that they're putting right in front of our faces. Like last week I mentioned how Hail Mary by Machiavelli could have been a clue that Kane and the Dehadas would go on the run as fugitives because the song Hail Mary featured the group called The Outlaws. And Power Book 2 ends with Kane going on the run, living the life of an outlaw. The title of a track featured on Tupac's Machiavelli album just a few songs after Hail Mary. The end of Raising Kanan, when Unique returned, they also revealed that Unique was breezed by the outro song that was titled Down With The King, Cool Breeze Mix by Run DMC. Revealing that in Season 4, Unique would be returning as Breeze, and he would be looking to take back over as the King. And while Look Ahead was on the screen, and they were flashing the hashtag, Power Never Ends, they showed a bonus scene in the credits. Tariq getting a mystery phone call from somebody he considered family for life, and someone who he hadn't heard from for a minute. Whoever it was on the other line, we have some months to try to figure out who it is. I definitely think this was a look ahead to the beginning of the next chapter of Tariq's story. This phone call will begin the new storyline whether Tariq goes to Chicago and links up with Tommy in Power Book Force or whether that phone call was from somebody like Brayden or Diana. I think it will create the conflict that starts the new story. Because until there's an actual conflict that moves the story forward, 
Tariq can pretty much enjoy his life at the top of the game. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.